Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, we often talked in the past of Windows Cloud, and it's something that we haven't talked about in a long time. I get sometimes some requests, people saying, so what's happening with this idea of Windows Cloud? And, you know, I mean, it's, it's a functional idea. It's already there. And uh, it's mostly proposed to businesses. And the idea is to run a Windows, like you see here, and have all of the functionalities that Windows has. But the way that it's done is that it's in the cloud. So meaning that basically you don't need to have anything really powerful to run it. All you need is a device that accesses the web and that can just be connected all the time to display what you see on the screen. I mean, it's not that, you know, you don't need that powerful of a machine. It's not like playing a game. All the computing is done in the cloud. So everything that you might want to add to do, uh, the virtual, the, the, the machine running in the cloud, actually the computer that's having the power is there. And you can use it like you would use a, a standard, you know, Windows computer. You can, um, you know, download apps, install apps, and uh, change settings. It's really, really a complete operating system within the cloud that what you actually have is just the visuals of it on your device. So low power devices would work, Chromebooks would work. Uh, you could do it on an iPad, you could do it on a tablet, an Android tablet. Um, you know, no more need for specific um, powerful hardware. Of course, there are some limits. There are things that you might not be capable of doing that you would do on an actual machine running Windows. But it's there, and Microsoft actually, uh, documents came out that shows Microsoft in June of last year has actually issued documents to the Federal Trade Commission with a timeline of what it would like. And it actually does say that they'd like to have Windows 11 Cloud to standard customers. Because until now, it was really for businesses mostly. But now they're thinking about, you know, standard customers. Um, everybody could technically subscribe to what's called Windows 365. And no need for any powerful computers. No more going crazy over minimum requirements. As long as you're connected, as long as your internet connection is decent, you can be connected. So this is interesting. Uh, Microsoft is and would like to have everybody move to the cloud. I think we're so far off from that because of a lot of problems with internet connectivity in many, many, many parts. So um, it's not everybody that still would be able to do that. Of course, you need to be connected all the time. It's not always feasible for everyone. Um, the fact that you can have an offline Windows is, you know, a good thing. But Microsoft is pushing towards that. And um, we also see that Windows 12 could have more capabilities of the cloud features and so on. And of course, you know, it has many advantages to be in the cloud, to be in a virtual machine that you just look um, you know, in your computer, that's all that you have. Um, the first one is the risk of getting viruses and malware is now pretty much zero because it's not in the same way. You're not reacting in the same way, and you can share documents still, but kind of interesting. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens with that, but it's the first time in a while that we hear a lot about it and that we actually see documents showing a timeline where they want in the next few years. It's also a good idea for Microsoft in the sense that you would have to subscribe to Windows 365 subscription, annual subscription or monthly subscription to use Windows. Um, but um, in, in that, I think Microsoft would like that. Um, I think we're very, very far off, you know, downloading and having a Windows operating system like we all have right now. But I think that slowly this idea will come through and there will be eventually more and more PCs that people are not just PCs, devices that people will use and have Windows uh, that it will be a cloud version of Windows running and um, you'll still be able to do a lot and, and, and use it as if you had your own machine. 
um, especially if you're a, a business user. Uh, on the consumer side, I'm not sure, depending on what you do, I'm not sure it's that great of an idea, but it will all depend what you do. For example, I could not see myself do that. It would be problem impossible with everything that I actually am doing with Windows. Um, and part of me is like, if you're just doing email and surfing the web and that's all, um, why don't you get you know uh, a tablet or something else? It, it, it's, it works great for that, and, and you don't need Windows for very simple tasks. But it'll see inter- be interesting to see what the future brings. So what do you think about Windows Cloud? What do you think about having any device that you have connect to a Microsoft server and you'd have a Windows interface on any device uh, running your favorite apps? Uh, what do you think about that idea? If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.